Hello and welcome back to FM Blog, the original Football Manager channel, but also the home of Euro 2020 fantasy football for the rest of the tournament. <laughs> Now we're into the last 16 of Euro 2020. There are two games left to play at the time of recording. That's the Portugal, France, Germany group, etc. So there are a few things left to confirm in terms of fixtures. But I thought I'd talk to you really loosely about my first draft for the round of 16 because we get unlimited transfers and we'll go from there and we'll do a second draft then later on in the week. Now if you didn't already know, FPL, that's the Fantasy Premier League, has dropped. It dropped yesterday. That means the website is open. You can do your teams, etc. I'll post the code to our league in the video description. But that means that my fantasy football channel is going to be concentrating on that and the Euro 2020 videos will now be on this channel and my other channel. Sounds confusing, but it's very, very simple. I'll share them all amongst the channels on YouTube so you shouldn't miss one, but just make sure you subscribe to each channel with your notification on. So here's my team so far for the round of 16 and just below my head, you should be able to see the fixtures and the permutations that might happen judging by what the results are going to be tonight. So this table is from a guy called Ben Krellin over on Twitter. If you don't follow him already, make sure to go and give him a follow. So we can see that Italy are through and they play Austria. Croatia plays second in Group E, who's yet to be confirmed. England plays second in Group F, yet to be confirmed. Wales play Denmark, come on the Welsh. Belgium could play a host of teams, third in Group F, third in Group E, or Switzerland. First in Group F, which could be France or Germany, will play Switzerland or the Ukraine. So you get the picture, there's a lot of permutations. But what I really wanted to talk to you about today is setting your team up for the price changes. So price changes are happening in Euro 2020, which if you don't know what I mean by that, Immobile here in my team, who's now 10.1 million, started off the game at 10 million. So his price has gone up by 0.1 million. Lukaku similar was 11 million now is 11.2 etc etc so what you really need to do i think because these price changes aren't that transparent all we know is what uefa have said and put into the rules now retrospectively is that players prices will go up after the match day i think it is although it's not that transparent depending on how they perform so i really think the key to this is getting players into your team quickly who have just performed well so that you can capitalize on their value even if you want them in your team or if you don't want them in the team now you get unlimited transfers for the round of 16 so you can make as many transfers as you want in or out shake them all about but if you get those players in early who are likely to go up in price overnight that is where you can capitalize on team value and then pick whichever players you want then going into the round of 16. So I hope that makes sense. I'll talk to you through my team. I've gone for quadruple Italy, so you can choose four players from a national team now because obviously there are less teams in the competition. The reason I've done that is because I like their fixture against Austria and obviously Italy are performing really, really well. So I really fancy them to go through. I've used all my chips, so I'm only gonna get three free transfers next round. So it's really important for my team that I really back teams that I think are gonna progress to the next stage because I haven't got a wild card left. So I've gone for Immobile, Spinozola, Donnarumma and Berardi, who are four players that I think will start and a team which I think will progress to the next round. Elsewhere, a lot of the players I've got, their fixtures aren't quite confirmed yet, but I like Gini Wijnaldum. I love the way he plays for that Dutch team, as well as Depay. But I do think Depay is more of a creator, whereas Gini might outscore him, to be fair, in the competition. Kevin De Bruyne, although we don't know the fixture yet, performed well, so expect his price to go up. But again, it's not quite clear when these price changes will happen. I suspect it will be as soon as the games from Group F finish. Dumfries, Marley, I don't know if, that, if that's how you say it. You can see he's still 4.5. Expect that to go up with that goal that he scored in the previous days. I can't remember who it was against. Russia, I think. Mounier, 5.7. You can see his price has increased already. Stecklenburg at 4.7, etc. So I think the key takeaway for today is to be proactive. Pick your last of 16 team based on players' form straight away just to capitalize on the price changes. And then you can go and use your unlimited transfers to pick whatever team you might want or whatever team you think is gonna do really well. And then if you've got your wild card in your back pocket for the quarterfinal stage as well, perfect. You can really go for some kind of different picks there as well. I hope, that was, I hope that's all made sense. 
I hope that has helped. Like I said, the Euro 2020 fantasy football content is going to be going up on this channel now, as well as my FM Wonder Kids channel. So make sure you subscribe to those with the notifications on and FPL is coming. So make sure you subscribe to the Fantasy Manager Weekly channel as well. I will link all of these in the video description. FPL video coming tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you soon.